This is a turkey sandwich. That was a test. I was testing you. You should already know what this is. It's an electric toothbrush. And this is a turkey sandwich. And I have been summoned to build the biggest, nay, the largest electric toothbrush in the world. So here's what I got. The other day I was brushing my teeth when my phone made a peculiar sound. <coughs> that could only mean one thing. A text message from none other than <gasps> Dental Digest, the king of dental content. Yo, Jake, I just hit 8 million subscribers. I want to do something epic. 8 foot tall electric toothbrush. Are you up for the challenge? Dude, yeah, when do you need it? 7 days. That seems like a fair amount of time, right? 7 days? I totally got you. That was a total lie. And as long as we're being honest here, so was the turkey sandwich. It was actually roast beef, and it was delicious. But 7 days was definitely not enough time to build the world's largest electric toothbrush. I'll be there. I had an even bigger problem. I was nowhere near my workshop. In fact, I was 2,000 miles away at an Airbnb in Austin, Texas. Yeehaw. I had a small garage and barely any tools to work with. And on top of all that, I don't know anything about electronic toothbrushes, but I wasn't going to let that stop me. So I hit the books, searching the internet for anything that I could use. Till finally, I had enough information to create the perfect blueprint. If this doesn't work, then I, I, don't, I don't know anything. I journeyed into town to gather some supplies. And upon my return, I realized that I failed to take a lot of things into consideration with my original design, and my limited knowledge of electric toothbrushes wasn't gonna cut it. So I decided to do what I do best, and I just uh, wing it until I figure something out. So the biggest difference between a standard toothbrush and an electric toothbrush is this, the electric part. Now I have a round brush that should work perfectly with my design, but I need some sort of motor to make it spin, like a drill. Now it's important to note that I am not an engineer, I am not an electrician, but I know if I struggle really Really hard, I can figure out a way to make this toothbrush work. Now this tube is literally just cardboard, so I gotta add some weight to this thing so it doesn't fall over. I don't think you understand the seriousness of this situation. Brushing your teeth is supposed to be fun and safe. Dare I say, romantic? Ugh, she's not even using toothpaste. But if I built a giant toothbrush and it fell and crushed dental digest, it could ruin the sanctity of teeth brushing forever. And then the dental hygiene of the world would start collapsing because of me and I can't live with that on my conscience, so I wasn't taking any chance and I filled the thing up with concrete, successfully saving the teeth of the world. You're welcome. No need to thank me. <clears throat> all right, so this right here is gonna be my access panel for all my electronics. And since I'm roughly basing my design off of this design here, I need to install a switch. Now, like I said, not an electrician. But lucky for me, setting up and installing a light switch to control my drill motor was actually pretty easy. All right, we're all wired up. Here's the moment of truth. Oh. <laughs> now that I know that my electronics work, I gotta figure out how to put it together. Now this is the part I was dreading because I knew the size of the motor was gonna be a problem. I tried using this thing that extends the drill at an angle, but of course it wouldn't fit in the tube the right way. I literally messed around with this for hours and got absolutely nowhere. And it was way past my bedtime. The next day I came back with a fresh pair of eyes and a good idea. The kind of idea that makes people say, wow, that's a good idea. So I've got the motor down here and I'll use a bunch of these extension rods to connect the motor to the bristles up top. Ho oh, ho! Nice! Man, I'm a lot smarter than I thought I was. Piece by piece, it was all coming together until I hit a little snag when the extension rods kept disconnecting in the tube. So I had to take them all out and glue them together. But it takes forever for this stuff to dry, so... I guess I have nothing to do. And with nothing to do, my curiosity kind of got the best of me. I had to know, what kind of power was this toothbrush gonna have? Could you even brush your teeth? Was it gonna rip Dental Digest's face off? Now, I knew this was a horrible idea, but uh, yeah, I, di I did it anyway. Yeah! <laughs> It was awesome, and the glue was done drying, so I was ready to throw it all together and then finally give this toothbrush the first official test. Here we go. Yes! All right, it's working. This was incredible. I had an eight foot tall working electric toothbrush, but unfortunately the excitement was short lived. I just couldn't help but feel like something was missing. Now I can customize this thing with a cool paint job, but would that really be enough? I want to surprise Dental Digest with something crazy. I had to make this thing wild. So it was back to the drawing board. Any ideas on how we can take this electric toothbrush to the next level? No, not really. Me either. I have an idea. Hear me out. We make it a rocket launcher. We're not making it a rocket launcher. Again? Dude, that's a horrible idea. Wait, I got something. Remember when we built the Game Boy? Of course! A while back, I built a giant Game Boy Color for Logan Paul, and I also made a custom Logan Paul video game to go with it, and people loved it. So what if I developed a Dental Digest video game and turned this giant electric toothbrush into a massive Xbox controller to play the game with?
I, I might I might be a genius. So to turn this toothbrush into a controller, I'm gonna need this. The Xbox Adaptive Controller. This nifty neat device is essentially an Xbox controller that allows you to play your games using external buttons that you plug in the back. Okay, so now I need buttons to turn this into a controller and I need to develop a game. I easily found the buttons online for a hundred dollars? I, well, I guess that's reasonable. And then I tracked down the same guy who helped me with the Logan Paul game on Fiverr. Boom. I sent him some instructions and pictures for inspiration and we were good to go. Now while I wait for that stuff to come in the mail, I gotta make this thing look pretty. So I started wrapping up the toothbrush with vinyl wrap. Actually not that bad. But unfortunately, I totally ran out of vinyl so I gotta order more. The very next morning a box showed up at my door. This must be the buttons. It was the buttons. But I was still waiting on my vinyl wrap and my Fiverr guy hit me up with the first draft of my video game. Open and... Yo, what? Dude, that looks just like him. Oh my God, that's ridiculous. The cavity monster, that's perfect. All right, we have a lot of work to do on this, but this is on the right track. Yes! Things were going great. The toothbrush was looking good, the game was looking good, and I was way ahead of schedule. This wasn't good. This was very bad. How's the progress coming along? It's, it's going good, but here's the thing, man. I need like a couple extra days. Bro, I already got the flight booked. You don't finish this in two days. I'm gonna brush your teeth with some sour slime. Two days? I was supposed to have four days, which is like three more days than two. There was no way I was gonna finish this thing. And I didn't want to brush my teeth with sour slime. I didn't even know what that was. Apparently it's a sour candy. Ugh, sour apple? That's what stink bugs taste like, smell like. And just when I thought that all hope was lost, another package arrived at my door. It was my vinyl wrap. With Dental Digest coming two days early, there was no time to waste. I quickly finished wrapping the toothbrush so I could start assembling the buttons. There was still hope for me after all. All right, all the buttons are glued onto the toothbrush now. And unfortunately, it takes a long time for this glue to dry, so there's really nothing else I can do until that's done. The glue dried, leaving me only 24 hours before Dental Digest shows up. And it was time to set this game up and make sure my controller works. And thank goodness it did, because I would not have been able to handle that kind of stress. Now that this thing is totally functional, we gotta do something about this boring aesthetic. I've been basically modeling it off of this, but like, let's be honest, this is not fun. Now I know on the outside I looked calm, but on the inside I was screaming. I had to make this thing the coolest toothbrush ever or else Dental Digest would be so disappointed. And between the aesthetic and the buttons and the game, literally anything could go wrong. The toothbrush is done and it's awesome, but Dental Digest is gonna be here tomorrow morning and the game still isn't done. And from the looks of it, it's not gonna be done today. It wasn't done that day. I literally stayed up all night hoping I would get this game early and Dental Digest is gonna be here in like an hour. My stomach was in knots. This man flew across the country to see this toothbrush and when he got here, he was gonna be so let down. Ugh. That's it. This isn't happening. And then something extraordinary happened. Well, I mean, it was super normal, but at the moment it felt extraordinary. My guy came through with the final version of the game, but there was no time to test it because Dental Digest was literally in my driveway. Here we go. Dental Digest here, it's time to get brushing. <laughs> I was beyond nervous. I could feel my heart pounding in my face, which I, I'm not sure if that's even normal. Maybe I should see a doctor about that. But anyway. Three, two. One. Oh my goodness, no way. You can't even reach the top. How am I gonna brush with this thing? Dude, I'm in awe right now. He absolutely loved it. And the best part is when he noticed the button. A and B button on a toothbrush? What do we got? What's this? <laughs> Your very own, what? Custom video game. No way. What the, it's me. I got a video game. This is dream come true. Now, since I finished this toothbrush on time, he couldn't brush my teeth with sour slime. But I told him that if he couldn't beat the video game that I made for him, then I was gonna brush his teeth with something gross with this giant electric toothbrush. Oh, oh no. He was loving the game and he was a total natural. He beat up all the cavity monsters and crushed his way to the end of the city where he was met by the final boss, the dead tooth. Now you're supposed to avoid him until he gets tired so you can kick him while he's down, but Dental Digest let Tooth Decay get the best of him. Oh, <laughs> no! What was I doing? I yes! Oh, 